Hello, everyone. Uh, as you may or may not have heard, my name is Stephen Johnson, and uh, I play piano. Now, an interesting thing happens when I say that to people sometimes. They immediately think, like, Art Tatum, or they think uh, Oscar Peterson, or maybe Herbie Hancock. Um, and that got me thinking, does music have a color? Now, I want to make sure I get this out there. I love the jazz greats, and uh, Nat King Cole's performance of T for Two on YouTube will change your life. Like, I'm, I'm probably responsible for half of the views on that video myself. Uh, but I'm much more of a Mozart player, which I owe to my mother. Uh, she just got me introduced to classical music at a young age. So, I have a story for you guys. Currently, I study at the Jacobs School of Music in uh, Indiana University. And my very first day there, I heard someone playing in the recital hall. And it was amazing. I was like, oh, this is probably this world famous uh, professor or performer or something. So I was like, I'm going to check it out. I run over to the window and I peek in, right? Uh, it's a student. And the dude is a savage. He's all over the place. He's got like 13 arms. He's like an octopus. He's just like, and I, my honest thought was, that's not, that's, that's absolutely not cool at all. Actually, I, I didn't want to hear that to be the, my first person that I hear there. I'm in way over my head. Um, so now we're going to fast forward a couple days. And um, I'm in the practice building. And what you got to know about the practice building is it's a circle. And there's another circle inside. It's like a concrete donut. There's no windows, it's no natural light gets in. It's like a tomb of music, all right? So I'm in there, and I'm practicing this piece. And I'm getting kind of frustrated. I've been in there for hours. It's not working how I want it to work. I need to take a break. So I open the door, and standing right there is the guy that I saw playing on the first day. And he's messing around on his phone. Now, he's never seen me before, and he doesn't know that I saw him playing earlier. So we do, like, we meet eyes, and we do the guy thing, like, oh, okay, whatever. And <laughs> so, so, so we walk off, and, and I'm coming back. Now, this, you don't actually need to know this part of the story, but it's a circle building, and there's no distinguishing marks. I got lost, okay? It took too long to get back to the room. I don't know what the problem was. So I finally get back, and he's still standing out there, messing around on his phone. So I'll go back in, and I start practicing again. Boom! Dude just busts in my door. And I'm like, hey, man, uh... I think there's some explanation that's needed here. You just gave me a mouth coronary. I need to understand what's happening right now. And he says, he says, I hope you don't take offense to this, but you are the first black person I have ever heard playing music like that. Now, I wasn't offended. He just said how he felt. And to be honest, we actually became pretty good friends. All right, so now I'm going to take you back in time. 19... 1905, okay? Maurice Ravel is a French impressionistic composer. And actually, that piece I was playing is by Maurice Ravel. And that kind of wash of sound is your traditional uh, impressionistic sound, right? So in 1905, he writes a set of pieces called Noirs. And there are five in the set. But the fourth one is particularly interesting because it is a Spanish piece. So this is a stark contrast to the calm, watery-like sound of Impressionism, and it's much more of a clean kind of, uh, I don't know, he's, he's evoking uh, like the Spanish idioms of the flamenco guitar and all this stuff. Um, so, without further ado, I, Stefan Johnson, hopefully changing your perceptions of what the classical musician can look like, will play a piece from a composer who changed perceptions with his music. Maurice Ravel's Alborada del Grazioso.
Thank you.